welcome to Heather's Treasures. We're going to do a polymer clay video. I actually had a success. At least I think it's a success. This is the outside of the shell. I somewhat sculpted it. That's the back side. Is that not cool? I like it. So I'm going to try to replicate it today. The first thing I did was I took a little batch of translucent and I put maybe four drops of aquamarine on it got it all in there till it was dry and then I massaged it up that's the blue accent this color here is just the translucent lines and I used one and a half of these sections of primo white and I used one block of primo frost white glitter and this time I'm cutting back I'm only using about one one of the blocks and I've got some more translucent here I don't know how much I'm going to use but it this was just in my scrap bag. And I think I want to try using some Color Cottage Heavenly Blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is condition all of my clay. And I will be right back. Okay, out of that pile of translucent, I've got one sheet here and a smaller piece here. And I'm just going to cut that in half. First, let's get the, the seaside blue. Isn't that gorgeous? This is what was left over of the seaside blue. That's too close. So I'm going to try. I'm going to add a little sapphire blue. Okay, I'm good with that. And now I've got some copper penny and some rose gold. I think I like the rose gold shimmer with this blue. It's I've got a muted and this is really vibrant. Okay, I think I like that. I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is start rolling these up. And this is not a new technique. This is I've seen this everywhere. I'm just going to roll all these colors up into a log and then we're going to marble them. Okay, I've got two popsicle sticks glued together. Now I'm going to get my mold. I made this mold. <laughs> it's not perfect. So what I have to do is... Uh, repair it and there's so much there I couldn't I don't have enough of this to do another one I, I'm just trying to eyeball where I want my lines to be and I like how the ball tool creates these lines these wavy lines in my pattern you can use whatever tools you prefer to use I just found Working with these tools worked for me. Oh, I love the lines. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my real shell. And I'm going to lay that on there. See these lines right here? That is from the actual shell. So I'm just going to go in and accentuate that line.
Okay, I'm going to bake this right on the shell. All right, it's done. Look at the lines. That is so cool. <laughs> Just, I surprised myself, guys. I have failed at polymer clay so many times. I, it's like I don't expect to see anything good at all. So I need something to pry this off with. loosen it there we go oh the back is gorgeous too look at that all right so I've got my file here what do you think guys does it look like a real shell maybe not one that you would find because the lines of a shell are uh, concentric with from the point of center here but I like I like going outside the you know the norm and just trying to create something realistic with my own little twist on it. I've had this glass glaze for a long time. Um, I've never really liked it. I don't want a high gloss. If I remember right, one coat of this gloss glaze does not give you a high gloss. Okay, this is dry. I went ahead and brushed on some glass glaze to this one as well. The reason being is because when I compare the sheen of this to this, it's really similar. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's almost identical. And I love the fact that it brought out more subtleties when I coated it. Isn't that beautiful? And then now this is dry as well. You can see more of the lines. Just a hint. And there's the back of that. That is so cool. Okay, so let me put this back in place. My original desire was to make a pendant in the last video. And this is over three inches long by nearly four inches wide and I don't know if that's I mean to me that's too big but I don't know the next video I'll make the beads and then we will string it on and see what it looks like but for the time being we've got two gorgeous seashells to work with Woohoo! I'll show you the backs again the backs are almost prettier don't you think <laughs> it's more vibrant Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping and watching. Don't forget to like and share if you enjoyed this video. Till next time. Love you. Bye-bye.